this method, of course, involves the same thing. You can, you can do your concept within a conceptual massing environment, or you can do it directly on Revit and then proceed with it. But in my case, actually, I, I've just, I'm just using the same model. I made it from conceptual massing environment, and I'm going to click New. And this time around, I'm going to find um, a template, and I'm going to load it uh, within my architectural, architectural template. So I'm just clicking it here and then I'm just uh, loading it and um, actually I, I don't want to save the changes. So I'm just going to load the concept itself. So there it is, switching to 3D view. So that, that we have and essentially, yeah, this is it. I mean, um, there isn't much to do. So perhaps maybe create a perspective camera, changing the view to shaded, change the center view, orbit it a bit. And I think there we have it. So what we are going to do actually, we are going to use um, we are going to use a um, a massing command called curtain system. So in this case, we are going to select the surfaces that we want to edit, that we want to add uh, our bamboo frame, and in doing so, we are actually going to create a curtain family, and then we are going to edit uh, those uh, Mulon members. So after this, I'm going to hit create system. So you can see already we have a division system here. And then under the edit type, I'm going to choose curtain panel. Instead of none, I'm going to choose it to changing it to empty. And then um, after that, actually, you can even choose it to solid and then assign a material to solid so that uh, it appears, you know, there are some types of bamboo houses that are jointly together with a uh, earth material in the middle. So in that scenario, if you are going with, a, with that kind of architectural style, then you can choose solid. But in this case, I'm just going to choose empty because I, I only want to, to, to show this house being built only with the a, with a, with a bamboo frames. So afterwards, I'm going to assign here a grid one millions. In this case, I'm going to choose 25 millimeter radius. I'm going to assign it. Uh, so there is one issue. They are too big. But I'm just going to adjust that in a second. And then come back and revisit the, the design. So I'm going to enable uh, select pin the element. I'm going to select one. I'm going to unpin it. And then now I can edit it. So in here, just going to duplicate this one. And then just write it as bamboo 25 millimeter and then changing the material from aluminium maybe to a wooden like material could be a wood stained and then of course there is no any offset that i want to acquire but this is where you're supposed to change the radius i don't know why but each time um in whatever version that i've been using Whenever I use 25 millimeter radius, it always changes to this number. So I think just, that's just a common error. So just change it to 25 and then there you have it. So when you, are, when you pin it again, it will return to this, but don't worry. Just go back, just select the curtain system, go back to edit type and simply just change this to the new one that we have made. Bam circular million bamboo 20 millimeter 25 millimeter so now there we have it so it's just the matter of changing the distance say for instance if we change the distance to 1000 they start increasing and say we change the distance to 50 millimeter it could be a bit too much but yeah there, there, there are too many so maybe uh, change to 250. 
So I think you get the idea that uh, for, for now you just have to keep on changing until you get uh, the precise um, sizes that you think uh, in your case they are reasonable for your presentation and uh, then you you essentially will be done by that by that time so um i think this could be one of the easiest easiest method of um actually duplicating these bamboo frames around your uh, your model and soon after you can easily uh but remember if you have so many openings i think the best way you could work around your conceptual massing first protrude every opening and then from there you can simply just come back to the actual Revit template and simply just uh, finish uh, uh, the design here. So thank you very much for watching this. Uh, like always, comment, share, and in case you have any other extra question, please post it and I'll try my best to make sure that I respond it on time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.